So uh, what do you think are the biggest hurdles for couples in your position? Like, you know, first responder, mm -hmm. couples. So. What I've been noticing um, is besides commun well, communication, um, struggling with communication, but I think that's impacted or affected um, by lack of knowledge on trauma. Mm -hmm. how it affects the first responders, um, the signs to look for, mm -hmm. um, because also like the first responders don't necessarily realize what they're experiencing um, is post-traumatic stress symptoms. Um, and so they don't know how to communicate because they don't know what they're feeling, why they're feeling, which ends up, yeah, can cause arguments between the couple because the spouse may feel like, why are you ignoring me? Why aren't you telling me about your day, et cetera, when like they don't want to talk about it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I when I used to um I mean I still do, but when I would ask my husband to tell me about his day at work, I was interested in hearing about the runs. He didn't want to tell me about them and would say, um, well, he told me about some that weren't that big of a deal, but he um, would say, I already experienced them once today. I don't wanna feel like I'm experiencing them again by going through them again with me. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, so I think a, um, a lack of communication and education on how the um, job impacts our first responder, um, I think is one of the biggest hurdles. Do you have any uh, tips or ideas of how we could possibly bridge the gap in those areas? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of um, good resources to that are already in place. Um, so there's um, the first responders bridge program um, in Columbus and uh, which was started by retired in CPD officers. Um, I think they were detectives. Um, mm -hmm. And that is a uh, free weekend long retreat. Um, and it's open to first responders and their spouses or significant others across the country, uh, to my understanding. Okay. Um, and they bring in speakers to talk about trauma, PTSD, different um, treatment methods. Mm -hmm. um, also, they have chaplains um, present as well as clinicians present to just kind of help help out as needed. Um, so that's definitely something that I know has had a very positive impact on a lot of first responder couples um being able to really understand what the problems were and mm -hmm. putting them on a good path to reconcile and heal um there's so there's that um I'm trying to think off the top of my head and uh, for some reason i'm like having a big brain fart um but I also would recommend um, the different departments uh, reaching out to their EAP mm -hmm. um, because they will definitely have a list of resources available. Yeah. Um, you know, no matter what state you're in. Um, and then a lot of program or not programs, departments um, have like the peer assistance in mm -hmm. place. Um, and so reaching out to, um, one of the, one of them to get some help. Get linked. Yeah. Um, but I, I do think that there are a lot more resources, resources catered to like first responders specifically, um, instead of like also including the spouse. They're both, but I think there aren't as many to include the spouse.